Well, hello all my fluid art friends. It's Doris at DF Designs. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to my Saturday Night Live where I usually do a giveaway during the night. Uh, oops, hang on a second. I'm trying to move this over just a little. Damn it. There we go. There we go. There we go. That looks a little bit more better. Okay. Anyway, so let me say hello to the usual suspects. Hello, Shannon. And hello, Elisa, Tater, and Zoe. I saw you pop in and say hi and leave. Um, and let me see. Miss Sophia Loren is here. And, uh, oh, my moderators, Shannon and Brian. And I didn't see if Christine is here yet, but let me give you guys a round of applause. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And hello, Joy E. Hello, Linda Seriani. Hello, Kim. Hello, Sweet Gail. Hello, Susan. Hello, Wendy. Hello, Melinda. Um, hello to the other Linda, the wild Linda in Virginia. <laughs> anyway, this is the giveaway tonight, okay? Um, numbers already. <laughs> I, I got it. I got it fi finally right. Um, and hello, Jack. And hello, Lori. Okay, I got the number taped on here. Hee <laughs> hee. I'm finally ahead of the game. Okay, and there's already a cord with it, so don't even worry about it. Cause I bought a different one. I didn't like the I didn't like the blue color with the green. And hello, Susan. And hello, Rochelle. And hello, Megan. So let me put this over here. This is what we're giving away a little later. If you've won in the last 30 days. Please don't enter. Um, and hello, Miss Moose. If you all were not at her live earlier, she did some fabulous painting. She did. She absolutely. And I'm going to refer back to her painting with the cloud pour when I get my cup. And Kelly. Yay, Kelly made it. Okay, so this is. When I'm going to, oh, let me turn around and grab all three of them. This is what I'm going to be pouring with tonight. Split cups and spider strainers. Now, I've got, the link's down below. I got three of them, okay? So, you'll be able to, um, you'll be able to, um, um, get yourself a set if you want. I'm not sure what size is going to go with what, so... I got three different sizes of canvases. Let me put this down here. And before I do that, let me show you how Big Mouth Bird turned out. I got Big Mouth Bird off the handles in his box. And he looks like he's swallowing an octopus. Hello, Christina. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. Thank you, everybody, for being here. So here, let me let me take it out of the box. That might be easier for me to show you. Okay, it does have some shimmer. It's got gold in it, and uh, this purple had some uh, pearlescence in it. But see, there's his little, there's his eyes. Okay, there's his big mouth. And it looks like he's trying to swallow an octopus, I think somebody said. So he's been named. He's Big Mouth Bird. So I am absolutely happy with this. See, you can see the uh, see that on there. I got just a couple of little places I got to touch up on the on the sides. But hey, we all have to do that, right? Let's see who else showed up. Oh, I'm looking, I'm looking. If I didn't say hello to you, type in all capital letters, what about me? And then I'll see it. <laughs> okay. Oh, and I'm doing something for the first time. I have got my spinner handle under here from, uh, from Brian. And I took Christina's advice and I covered it. I don't know if I should take it out. It's covered in tape, okay? Because that's why the sticks are breaking. Okay, this one, this is what I decided I'm going to do. I'm going to do a small split cup on this one. 
a medium sized split cup on the other one and let's see oh <laughs> oh it's a toucan I didn't think of that I didn't think of that Linda okay let me get some gloves and stick around I'm gonna do tonight's a threefer I'm doing three of them tonight okay okay let me get more gloves out because I'm gonna be changing gloves with each one okay and I do have my baby powder over here which is another trick I learned from Christina she's just a wealth of knowledge Okay, so this one is going to end up getting this small strainer. This is an 8x8. It's a gallery wrap from um, Artist Loft. I just put the close a link to the closest type. Uh, well, they get wet is what it is. They, they get wet, Brian. That's what it is. Okay, let me get my gloves on. Since I have three strainers, I decided... I'm going to do three canvases tonight. I'm going to do, um, well, hello, Shelly. I've been, you know, I'll tell you something. I've been looking around for something like a nail file or, or, or a small little file that, that's this size that would fit in there or a plastic stick. Oh, Thank you so much, Shelly. Thank you guys for all the compliments. Okay, let me uh, let me get this one on. You would think I wouldn't have to do that with the very first pair of gloves. Uh, uh, my hands are not that sweaty. Okay, I just I put these colors in order. They're not in order under the thing. So this first one is going to get, let me see, I'm going to do, um, I'm going to do the white and the black on the, out, white and paints gray on the outside. Oh, that's fine, Shelly. Feed your hubby. Eat dinner. Okay, so first I'm going to put, let me, oh, no, you can't see it. Okay, I got to move this back because I do not want to pour over the canvas. Okay. Yeah, there we go. So first, I'm going to give it some white. Don't need it as much as you think you do. I forgot what size cup this is. And I couldn't find, in time for tonight, I couldn't find any five chamber cups. Okay, that was my white pearl mix, which is the titanium white and the Vallejo pearlescent mixed together with the um oops nope let me let me do the the kaput mordium violet which is n been nicknamed by julie e kumquat murder because she can never pronounce the name and i'm going to put that next to the white okay and then next to that yes i'm using pink tonight oh thank you thank you very much lori you are an awesome superstar for those of you that came in late this is what i'm giving away tonight cords included because i have i bought a, se a second one for mine this is the one i was using on mine and look, I got the number already on there. Ha ha. I am ahead of everything tonight. Okay. This is Persian Rose. Maybe that's why Elisa didn't stay. No, I know she had to work. Elisa seems to run the other way when I use pink. Okay. Mm, I may have, well, I'm not going to put no more white over there. Put white over there. Okay, and last but not least, on the outside, I'm 
Okay. I'm trying to read the chat, but it is going by a little bit faster than... I have a hard time focusing on it. What can I say? And I put it on the spinner because I would rather spin it than, um, than, um, um, <laughs> tilt. Okay. Now, I do know, I, I don't think I remember Fiona doing this, but, okay, here's my cup. White pearl, kaput mordium, a.k.a. kumquat murder. Persian rose and Payne's gray. Okay. Let me make sure I get that in the middle. Okay. I'm going to give it a little puddle in the middle. Just so it has something, the paint has something to slide on. May have to bring that back over. Okay, here we go. Now, basically, I have seen Fiona. That's not right in the middle, but oh well. I have seen Fiona do this really quickly and also reverse direction. So, let's see. Oh, now I'm reversing direction. I probably got way too much paint on here. Okay, now lift that up. Oh, I got that neat flower like she does. And I was smart. I got myself a, a coffee can of soapy water over here. Um, yeah, I should put, well, no, I'm not going to put that in there. I'm going to let it drain over here. I am surprised I got the flower she gets. So, a little bit of a torch. That's a glove that doesn't belong down here. Now, let me put some more base coat on it. Now, this is a gallery wrap, so it's kind of deep, so I'm putting a little bit of extra of the base coat around it so it'll go over the edge and I am going to smooth it out with my spatula if I can find one of my little ones well better than nothing right okay push it up to the paint and then drag it over to the edge Up to the paint and drag it out to the edge so it has something so and it's okay to let it go over the edge because you want to kind of give it so, uh, something to pull it pull the colors out okay I am very very surprised but then, you know, it's one of, it's something that Fiona did the other day, okay? Uh, worry about my corners afterwards. Um, let's see. Yes, that little strainer is so cute. It's, 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 it's adorable. Okay, first, before I spin it, let me bring it up so you can get a close look at what the little flower turned out like now I'm not gonna whip it like Brian says I'm gonna give it baby spins you know I put that handle on there and I'm afraid to touch I haven't touched it yet okay a little bit more okay let me move it back I just noticed it was out of camera or out of frame a little bit let's see thank you all very much I know what causes those petals it's the um, it's the straight lines that come out 
Mm, it's almost all over the sides. Hmm. Let me try tilting it just a little bit to get it to come down. Well, you know what? Instead of doing all that, let me let me just pick up a little bit and kind of apply it to the sides. Because I do have some colors down here that I can apply to these little bald spots. I should give these little bald spots a, stra a straightener, huh? Right, Brian? I love you guys. I'm sorry, Brian is just so easy to pick on. He's like the little brother I never had. I have an older brother that I've never met, but I don't have any little brothers. Okay. Come on, I need some of the pink over here. There we go. And I want to get some of this color right here. Okay. That. It's center too. I am surprised. I am really, really surprised by this. I can't wait to do the bigger ones. Because I got um, um, two other strainers, so I got a 10 by 10. And a, um, tw a 12 by 12. I didn't have a gallery wrapped in 10 by 10, so I just got a traditional style canvas. Come on. Separate tape. very carefully so I don't mess up my sides that I just painstakingly fix the paint on. Come on, let go! Oh, oh it won't let go! Okay. There we go. Ah, see, and I got my hand in there. fix a couple little spots that got messed up as I was trying to lift it. Okay. Well, here's strainer number one. 8x8 eight eight gallery wrapped with a very small um, I'm going to say it's a 4 ounce split cup. It's only got 4 chambers. Yeah, it was probably way too much paint, but I wanted to make sure that it went over the sides. Oh, there's a little ball. Whoop. Okay. Maybe I can get some. Uh, okay, I'm just going to paint that later. So, let me put this baby to bed. And I'm going to do one more and then I'll do the giveaway. I only have one thing to give away tonight. Okay. So, I am very, very happy. Uh, I don't see any air bubbles, so... I don't think I'm going to need to pop any. So let me turn around. Lay it down. And take off my gloves. Clean off my palette knife. And basic... Well, basically get paint all over my hand. And not I'm not changing the uh, pup, uh, pee pad. I'm just taking changing that out. Okay, so there is a link down below. Well, hail Jeff B. Nice to see you, sir. How go it in with in uh, Maryland? Okay. 
Okay. I need another. Yes, I absolutely loved. Okay, we're okay. I wanted to make sure I started it where the stick was at. So I didn't accidentally get it over the stick itself. Okay, uh, 10 by 10. And while my hands are clean, I'll show you the giveaway one more time. It's going to be a winner. Be it's going to be a number between 1 and 50. Winner pays shipping. Oh, well, thank you very, very much. Didn't see who it was. If I don't catch it on the screen. And that was from Kelly. Thank you so much, Kelly. You are a sweetie. Okay, so this is going to be the giveaway after this painting. Okay. So now, I know I need baby powder. So let me feel like I got paint on my face now. Let me put some baby powder on my hands. Rub it over the garbage can so I don't get it all over the rug. Whew. I smell like a newborn baby now. <laughs> I don't like the smell of baby powder. I don't think I used baby powder on my kids when they were younger. I might have when they were for, when they were real little. Okay, come on, over the ring. Now my glove is rolling inside of itself and making it hard for me to pull it all the way up. Uh, you know, y'all, the struggle is real. I have a problem with my long nails, t too, see? I ha and I don't do anything to make them grow. They just grow like weeds. Yeah, paint on face, the new makeup, yep. Yeah. I don't know if I did or not. I'm not going to worry about it right now. It'll dry and I'll wipe it off later. Well, hello, Miss Linda Gutowski. Nice to see you. Yeah, I should get some cornstarch, but uh, I haven't went yet. Okay. Let me move this back so you can see me filling the cup. Okay, the colors I picked for this one, it's going to get a, a black background, is... Uh, I'm going to do it exactly in the order I got them. So I'm going to do Prussian blue over here. I can't see in there. There we go. Now, this is, I think, a six ounce, but I'm not going to fill it up all the way. Because that's what I like about these, um, these split cups. You don't have to fill them up all the way. Okay, that was Prussian blue. Everybody knows that's my favorite color. And I love pairing it with this turquoise blue by Amsterdam. All the colors are listed down in the description. And then um, my pouring medium recipes down there and how I mix the paints is down there. Because um, I, I was adding so much water with my pouring, after my pouring medium, when I did two parts, because my paint was so thick. Um, what are fingernails? They're the things that like to poke hole in your gloves. Okay, this color is Amsterdam's Reflex Rose. Um, no, what, what I was saying was, I used to add two parts pouring medium to my paint, to one part paint, but it was just so thick that I was adding so much water. So I just, I started adding three parts pouring medium and now I'm only I don't have to add water on some of them. Okay, get you up to level with the rest of them. Oh, that, it ought to be pretty. 
I think I've done this color combination a couple of times before with the uh, white pearl on a black background. Okay, the last color is Venetian Rose, which I had to mix because I didn't have any more mixed. Now, I know I've done this color combination, but I'm not sure if I had used Venetian Rose or Persian Rose. So, we shall see. Ah, stand up, bottle. And a bottle fall. Bottle down. You know, like man down. Sorry. <laughs> I'm being silly. Okay, here are my colors. Going from top, from your top to the bottom in order is Prussian blue, turquoise blue, reflex rose, and Venetian rose. And now it's going to get another little puddle in the middle just to help the paint slide. Let me spin it out a little bit. Yeah, there's not that much there for it to really spin. Okay, now here comes the medium size strainer. Okay. And I'm just going to do a ring pour like I've seen Fiona do because I don't want to get too, too, too weird with it or different with it. So, and now I'm going to back up, go the other way. go let the rest drain lift it up that's what makes the flower it's when you lift that up and now I'm gonna put this under here yeah that's what makes the flower oh okay who said that thank you Susan I'm not too worried. I don't think it's going to spin off that that much. Okay. I want to give it some base coat. Oh, hmm. Got a little heavy handed there, didn't I? I will do the giveaway after I finish this one. So stay tuned. But the last one I'm doing is on a 12 by 12 gallery wrapped. And it's with the colors that Christina did in that Dutch pour center my canvas well you know what um it's already taped down that's about the best i'm going to get it okay push it up Come on, all the way up to the paint. There we go. Give it something nice and gooey to glide on. Never thought I'd say that about paints, nice and gooey. But, hey, <laughs> you know, that's the terminology. They're nice and gooey. I'm spreading them out so they wet my canvas. So the paint will just glide over it. I don't know if I'm going to get all the black off, but we'll see. We'll see. Okay, let me very carefully. Ah, I'm like a bull in a china shop when it comes to these palette knives trying to get up close to something. Well, hello, Justine. Oh, yes, that's right. I said mur, 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 mur. I didn't hear myself say that, did I, Brian? Uh, thank you, guys. I, I love the colors, too. Okay, torch. Okay, let's see. Hmm. 
still got a little black right there. But at least I got color on the edge. That's or on the corner. That's all that matters. Let me get this just a little covered right there. Ah, this needs some pink over here. Ah. looks good that side looks good okay um not exactly centered but i know why that's because my canvas wasn't centered and i will pay more attention to the other one when i put it down um so let me let me just bring bring it off of here uh of course I should get some tape that's not as sticky. Okay, let me see if I can tilt it back this way just a little bit. Ah, that's about as good as I'm going to get it. I love these colors in here. Now, because I didn't add any white, there isn't that much contrast with the... Uh, in there what because the pearl white would have made would have made some nice designs in there but I am loving this I don't know how I did this over here I love this I don't know how I did and this looks all galaxy like over here so ah, let me put this baby to bed Still got pain on my arm. I like this not having to scrape it. <laughs> the the um, shower caps that I'm using, because for some reason, I don't know if I got a bad batch or what, but I just could not get the ones I ordered through Christina's Amazon shop. Hi, Roxanne. Nice to see you. And hello, Rhonda. And thank you all. Thank you all. Okay, let me... Even though I put a shower cap on it, I still have some press and seal on it because I just dripped right there. Okay, get that. Ah. See, here's the bad part about a nail. You get the paint under it. Uh, okay okay here we go here is tonight's giveaway okay it is a number between 1 and 50 already got the number right there oh hello Charlene thank you guys for all the compliments I was very happy with it hello Kathy Clemens or Clemmer excuse me um Okay, so let's do the drawing because everybody seems to be here. Okay, um, it is a number between 1 and 50. Winner pays shipping. I will ship to even Australia. Just remember it could cost about $24 to ship this little thing to Australia. Uh, I mean, I don't know exactly. I haven't weighed it. Um, so everybody, make sure you're in live chat. Make sure you are refreshed, or your screen is refreshed. You got to be refreshed too. Come to think of it, um, ah, there it is. <laughs> I knew I had a bottle of water around here somewhere. Okay, so number between one and fifty, 
and if you have won the last 30 days, you can't enter, and winner pays shipping, so on your mark, get set, go. Number between 1 and 50, start typing numbers. I will holler when I got a winner. Number between 1 and 50. Okay, I'm starting to see numbers. There we go, there we go. Keep going, keep going. Three people type the same number at the same time. Keep going. I still don't see it. Oh, stop, stop, stop. We have a winner. We have a winner. Stop. We have a winner. I will, um, I, my moderator will scroll up to, scroll up to the very top of the chat or the very top of the numbers and scroll back down to make sure that I have, that I have the right one. But, Miss Kelly Mank, number 40. Aren't you so glad you made it tonight, honey? So, if, if um, Shannon or Brian or Christina would like to scroll up, just to verify that it is Miss Kelly Mank that was number 40. And I'm trying to find something to write your name on here with. And I already have your address. So I will um, I will email you tomorrow or um, the next day. Um, let me see. Why do they put these stupid little rubber things on the end of these pens when you try to write with them? There we go. Kelly Mank. Okay. Thank you very much, Shannon. Shannon is such a great moderator. She gets right on it and goes up there. Okay, so congratulations, Kelly. Now, let's do painting number three, which needs a new little thing on here, a uh, um, shower cap. Uh, words are hard tonight, people. I'm sorry. Okay. Come on. All the way over. Now, I don't know what it is about. Either the shower caps were real funky that I ordered off of, uh, Christina's uh, Amazon page. Or, or, I have a, uh, or I have a weird... Uh, uh, cake spinner but it just okay okay let me okay yeah well yeah it's not that off center okay let me do the baby powder then the gloves I swear, Linda, I'm going to switch to cornstarch because I just don't like the smell of this. Well, hello, Victoria. And hello, Evan. Evan ends. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. Nice to see you, Vic. Okay. Get all my fingers in the right holes. Okay, now this one is not going to be a black or white base around it. It's going to be that um, purple, that violet gray base that I made that uh, Christina did it one night. She won't even sell the painting. It's hanging up in her bedroom. I wanted to buy it. So that's why I just had to ask her how she mixed the colors and, and make 
make my own colors in that color scheme. And I think I figured out, Christina, why my Naples yellow um, was um, was so um, um, light. It's because I had the Naples yellow light, but now I got the Naples yellow deep. Okay, so first, uh, first let me move this backwards and fill my cup. There we go. Okay. Um, I just don't want to set it right in a puddle of paint right there. I am making a bigger mess than I'm cleaning up. There we go. I just didn't want to get some drippy paint on the bottom of it. Okay, first, I have got Lucas Krill Indigo. And that's going to go, ugh, paint boogers, paint boogers. That's going to go in this one. Okay, here we go. Okay, that was Lucas Krill Indigo. I know it's kind of dark to see it in there. I'll bring it up to the camera after I get all the paint in. Now I'm going to do the Deco Art 24 Karat Gold. Oh, okay. Um, I got to do the same thing when I get off my live, Brian. So I feel ya. Okay, this is the uh, Deco Art. Americana Decor 24 Karat Gold. There we go. There it is. You got in trouble the last time you went to the garage with a girl? Well, how about going to the basement with the girl? I bet your dad and, and your brother gave you hell, didn't they? Yeah, TMI, Brian. Exactly, Susan. We know more about Brian than we want to, don't we? Okay, this color is Amsterdam Permanent Blue Violet. Now, I'm not filling it up all the way because I have no idea what size cup this is. Yeah, for real, Shelly. That's why I had to come up with these colors. Because she won't part with it. Okay, this time I'm doing the Amsterdam Ye Naples Yellow Deep. Because you know what? Amsterdam doesn't make just Naples Yellow. They got Naples Yellow Deep, Naples Yellow Light, Naples Yellow Red, and Naples Yellow Green, I think, is the other one. Okay. Trying to keep an eye on my paint level to get it all the same way. And there's a reason why I put the yellow over here because the blue's over there. And I don't want green. I want just pretty blue, gold, purple, and yellow. Okay, now. Okay, let me first. Let me see what kind of light I got. Okay, I know it's not all that great. Naples Yellow, Permanent Blue Violet, Gold, and Indigo. So let me put this over here. Move this. Mm. I hate adjusting a camera when I'm live, but it was too low for this canvas. Okay, now, the base coat I'm going to put down is Violet Gray, by, it's, it's by Jerry's Artorama, and then she mixes it one-to-one -one with the Creative Inspirations Pearlescence. Oh, shoot, I didn't, I don't think I wiped off the threads last time. Okay, let me give it just a little small puddle to 
drip. There we go. Uh, I'm going to wipe it off this time. I'm not going to let it stick on me. Okay, but I'm not going to put the lid on all the way right now either. Well, hello, Linda M. Oh, it's Linda Munn. Okay, hi, Linda. And let me see. Did I miss anybody else? I'm looking to see if I did. Let me see if it spreads out. I didn't get it exactly in the middle. Doesn't look like it. Okay, that's close enough to the middle. Now, I get to use the big boy. This is the biggest one of the three. Okay. And I put it right in the middle. And let me grab a hold of this the right way. And I got enough glue in there. And let me do a ring pour. Okay, and now I'm going to back it up and go the other way. Uh, let me just turn it upside down now. Very carefully lift this off. This is what gives it that such a pretty flower in the middle. I almost like that flower better than I like the one with the uh, with the with the uh, Fiona cup. That is so pretty. Who said? Oh, hi Pam. Nice to see you. You love it when I say, it. "Oh, that's close." And oh, yeah. Hey, it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, now. I'm going to give it a little bit of this base coat. I'm probably going to lose it all, though. I don't know how much. See, I want. I didn't want it to. I didn't want the whole thing to go over the edge. I wanted the base coat to go over the edge, but not the uh, flower. So we'll see if I can save any of this around the edge. Okay. Well, yes, Christina. It's your color palette. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I'll be doing I'll be doing I'll mix it up in other with other pouring mediums and do this in other styles. Okay, there's my palette knife. I didn't want to pop the bubbles till I get all this base coat spread out because I just shook it so I know it's got um bubbles. Tiny bubbles in the paint. Tiny bubbles make me faint. Because that's the only word that rhymes with paint uh, that I can think of. And I don't think I'll get a copyright infringement for singing that, that short of a verse to that song with different words. I don't even know if Don Ho's alive. Anybody know if he's still alive? I don't think he is. That was a Don Ho song, wasn't it? I don't, I don't remember. I just remember the Tiny Bubbles song. Okay. Let me spread out the rest of it here. Trying very, very carefully not to smear the circle of paint in the middle as I get close to it because you heard me earlier I'm like a bull in a china shop when it comes to doing this okay I want to get a little bit more over here I can actually see the canvas okay let me torch turn it up so I can get a flame I gotta dig out my other can of butane. I gave the can I normally have up here. I left it at Joe Patty's for her new torch. Okay, here we go. Ooh, I wonder how that's gonna spread out. Here we go.
Okay, we got a problem, Houston. You're off center. need to walk the middle back there we go okay now let me see hmm okay walk it over to that corner a little bit Starting to make my flower look wonky. Okay, one more baby spin. Now it's completely off of that corner. Not all the way off of here. Definitely not off here or there. Um, So, I might as well go for the whole thing off on all four sides. Okay, that's running down, that's running down, that's running down. Okay, I can see it running down the sides. Aha. Not running down over here. It's got a bald spot. Let me just tap a little tape right there. And do the same over here. And it's got a whole bunch of bald spots right here. I still got some of the... um. Violet gray showing on the sides. Not a whole lot, though. So, what I'm going to do is... Oh, thank you, guys. Hey, that makes me feel good to know that, that, that um, you guys absolutely love it. Oh, thank you, Miss Sophia. I, I feel like I did. I love this technique. I had to buy some as soon as I saw Fiona using them. And, of course, Amazon can be your best friend. Okay, I'm not going to take it off of here until after. So, let me bring the whole thing up. Ooh. I love what's going on with the yellow and over here. And no green. No green. Even though the blue and the yellow are touching, I didn't get a whole lot of green. Oh, this thing's heavy. I am very, 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 very happy with it. Okay, I need... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pop bubbles real quick just to make sure. And then I will sign off. Doesn't look like there's a lot of bubbles. It gave me a little bit more cells. But I think... I think it's the emulsibon that does that. Because, yes, even though this isn't a Fiona flower, I did emulsibon in it. Yes, thank you, Christina. It is. So, Amsterdam doesn't make Naples yellow. It's either light or deep or red or green. <laughs> So this is what I ended up, this is what I mixed up today. So, um, let me see, today is Saturday, so tomorrow we've got Brian at um, uh, 8 p.m. Eastern. And then Monday night, Julie E. does a premiere usually about oh, um, 7.30 Eastern. Christina goes live at 9 p.m. Eastern. 
And then yours truly will be back on Tuesday doing some more fun. So you all have a great evening. I love each and every one of you, my viewers of awesomeness. And I will email you um, as soon as I um, um, get it in a box and weigh it, Kelly. So see you all tomorrow night at Brian's. And then Monday at um, Christina's Live. And don't forget, um, Julie E. is doing a giveaway. You have to go back through the videos. Um, um, but um, she's doing a giveaway on one, of, on one of the Julie tubes. I have a set I'm going to be giving away later. But I'm letting Julie do hers first because they're named after her, you know. They're her little namesake. So... You guys have an awesome rest of your weekend, okay? And I will see everybody tomorrow night or Monday night or Tuesday night. And all I can say is bye for now. And hopefully I didn't drip. <laughs> oh. Okay, where's my cursor? Oh, there you are. Shoot.